What's up everybody, it is me, Guillotine. Welcome back to another video. A new season has started in AC's Battle Runes. There's a new card, there's a few new runes. Um, we'll talk about that and I've got some gameplay for you from a player that is known for being a little bit salty. So let's get into it. We are over on Windmill Boot Camp. This is a map that I tend to perform relatively poorly on. Um, it is really easy to kind of get stuck in your corner. It's easy for the other person to map control. Um, and Zimgor here, for whatever reason, gets really frustrated when you face them and you build more than two expansions. Um, he could be quite nasty about it, um, which is a bummer because there's really no need to be rude. Um, he claims that the way that I play is not fair, even though he's using elves with storm arrow um, and a few other cards that are just kind of hard counters to me. He's got many dragons in there, which just got a pretty big buff. Um, I don't know if I see your name come up, like if we get matched together, am I supposed to just not play? Am I supposed to just quit expanding and build a 200 supply and meet in the middle and whoever wins, wins the game? That doesn't sound fun, uh, nor does that make any sense because the, I'm going to need an economy to sustain wave after wave. Um, you are more than allowed to do the same. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. My deck is similar to the Zerg race if you're familiar with StarCraft, um, and they operate kind of the same way. You have to be ahead in economy always, and you have to continue to just send wave after wave, constantly harass, play fast, maneuver, play positioning. Um, that's fun to me. Um, if it's not fun to play against, I'm sorry. Uh, there's lots of things I don't find fun to play against, but I just try to find counters to those things so people will quit using them. While things are slow in the beginning, um, we can talk about the new the new additions. Um, there's a card now that rains down a couple of mini golems from the sky. Um, some folks were saying that it was going to be a bit broken, but I've faced it a few times so far, and... It really hasn't been, and it's pretty expensive to cast, and so if you've got what it takes to shut it down, your opponent is kind of at a pretty big disadvantage. Um, I believe it's 200 mineral, 200 gas, so it's definitely not cheap to use. Um, I haven't used any of the runes yet. There's a new rune for Spearman, um, which has like a uh, pushback effect every third hit. Uh, moles also got a pushback effect when they become unburrowed. Uh, it seems like when they pop out, if there's any enemies close by, it's going to push them back and um, it's going to reduce the amount of incoming damage that they take for a second. Um, and then lastly, the witch got her rune. Basically, right now you have the choice between um, summoning a cookie that can um, attack either from a distance or a melee um, and then the rune basically gives the cookies both attacks so you don't have to swap back and forth um, all of which seem like pretty interesting additions um, like I said I haven't obtained any of them yet um, but we'll see so right here what you just saw I noticed that owl down at the bottom and so I started putting a tower down to try and bait him out to see what units he was using um, he took the bait and came down and I just expanded up north rather than down there um, and then I was able to run down a sniper and a spearman and so it was worth spending the money on swift to catch up um, Zim is sending some mini dragons out. He doesn't have his second up yet, um, but it looks like he's going to start working towards it soon. And now that I'm watching this replay here, um, the messages start flowing in post-game, uh, asking me basically why I expand. Um, he calls it building farms. Um, I don't know. We're about four minutes in. Um, this is a map I tend to play a little bit slower on because um, there's less resources on it than some of the other maps. Um, and I just want to make sure I've got an army to fight and don't get map controlled. But at four minutes, you should also have your second base up. So that's not my fault. 
Um, I'm checking the top. Sims moving out of his base a little bit, playing some defense, trying to get his second one up. Um, totally not fair. Um, I'm about to take base number three. Um, so I'm going to send my units down just to scope it out, make sure he's not stockpiling, getting ready for an attack down there. And as I start moving in, my Vodun here notices his owl and takes a shot at him. And so the owl's able to get away. Um, I pull back because I don't know what spells he has. I don't want him to throw down like a poison or anything, um, which can suck at times. And anytime you run into an owl, even if you kill it, it's actually pretty smart to kind of reverse course and attack from a different way or move your army somewhere else. Um, you want to always keep them guessing and not know where you are. If they see you coming up the right side and get ready for you to come up the right side, but then suddenly you're coming up the left side, that's a huge advantage for you. Down below at the bottom middle, I'm putting a tower down because that's where I'm going to try to set my fourth up. Chrono gets hit as third goes down, so I'm still on a two base economy, uh, working towards a third. Zim still sitting on like one and a half um, with his units kind of chilling out here. Another barracks going down. Um, I think he is about to start saving up so that he can start teching towards that storm arrow. But at this point, I don't even know that he has elves in his deck and I'm just now finding out about the many dragons for the first time. Um, this is a really good harass by Zimgor. Just one many dragon can really be a nuisance um, and can really do a lot of damage, especially to workers. Um, so I'm getting ready to go up that way. I actually didn't have much air support at the time. So I send up these three bats wondering if maybe they can get something done, but many dragon kind of three hits takes it out. He sees the other ones coming up, so he goes into his trance and pulls away. He's going to send three more up to continue the harass. Many dragons are a unit that, once you get a lot of them, the, the game can really start to snowball. So I start pumping money into air support because I don't want this to get out of hand. I'm kind of just waiting to see where they pop up again, and then I want to go try to take them out. Um, here, I noticed him with the bats. I was trying to sneak them away, but his owl there detects the bats, so he's able to kill them relatively quickly. So I'm going to have to send these units up here um, and lose a few of them. Um, but I am able to get close enough to take out one of those dragons. And at this point, I am starting to feel like if I sit still long enough, this can really go not in my favor. So... I'm marching down to the bottom right. I was going to try to set up an attack here, but the pathing gods strike again. My units get kind of hung up on this cliff, um, and so game on. Unfortunately, all my Vodun's are on the front lines here, so a lot of them go down. I decide not to even hit Swift because I don't think I'm going to win this fight at all, so I want to save the 100 minerals and just see what they can do um my berserkers are putting in a little bit of work at this point i do notice the elves um and so i have to start planning for that these are, there's three mini dragons left he's got some berserkers as well zim is finally going and taking his third um second is still not all the way up yet i i again i don't know what that's about man that's not my fault uh sorry the teching has begun back home for Zimgor, though, working towards that storm arrow. Uh, if you had all of your workers up, you probably could have had storm arrow by now. Um, this Hellgate coming in, I'm trying to micro out of it, save as many Vodun's as I can. Berserkers will be fine. Um, he does end up killing a few Vodun's, um, which is pretty good value. Many dragons up at the top middle, gonna go in for another harass. And since so many of my Vodun's just died, I don't really have anything um, that can handle this. I've got two sitting here, three. Um, I've got a few down below that I'm gonna end up sending up, but still not enough to really handle it. Um, sacrificing some dogs there. He ends up trancing out and kind of same thought thought process as before. Um, 
that fight ended up being somewhat of a stalemate and here we are i don't want things to get out of hand i don't want a bunch of mini dragons to pop up i definitely don't want a bunch of elves to pop up um, i'm moving up in just to see if he's expanded to that top middle um, and he hasn't so i'm gonna move in i'm gonna try to lay down a castle here i'm gonna try to leave my units here to defend it in case those mini dragons come back i feel like i've got enough votoons now to handle just three of them um, but he's sending them down below to either play defense or to harass me at the bottom middle. I'm at max supply and I've got enough to remax if needed, so I go in for an attack. Elves are getting just amazing value. He pulls back, uses the blessing. Um, these sneak bombers coming in here. I'm going to try to micro them around the elves. Um, if you attack elves kind of sideways, you can get pretty close to them. If I would have had more sneak bombers, it would have got the trick done right there. The storm arrow, though, is just so nasty. Um, pretty much one shots almost every unit in the game. He's putting down a hellgate to defend. A few elves do survive, but he does not have enough gas to build more of them. So my next wave is about to start coming. Um, I'm going to hit Chrono here in a second and just start sending more. So now that my troops are coming out, I'm going to start staging them. Um, I'm thinking I want to attack up at the top yet again, just to make sure that if he goes on a counterattack um, up top, I'll be there to defend. Um, in comes those Hellgate minions, though, that spawned just a little bit earlier. And it looks like my assumption was correct. He does go up to the top with some elves and mini dragons, um, but I'm able to cut them off from the backside. So even the blessing is not going to save these elves from going down. All three of these go down. Um, the mini dragons are still up. The Voduns put in a lot of damage, but just didn't have enough of them there to get it done. They were kind of spread out a little bit too much. Um, weren't all attacking at the same time. A fourth elf goes down by a berserker. He ends up pulling his dragons back. Um, I have teched to rabies, and so I'm just going to send a couple dogs in on the other side of the map and start hitting workers, trying to destroy his economy. That way, if we get into another situation where we both have to remax, um, it's going to hurt him a lot more than it hurts me. I almost have enough to remax again if all of my units go down, and I'm steadily mining. Uh, meanwhile, he's not. Um, and right here, he lets me know what he thinks about me. But it ain't my fault that we're going on 11 minutes and you haven't even finished saturating your third base. Um, GG. It's gonna do it. Um, thanks y'all so much for watching and I'm gonna holler at you next time. Later.